www.jennysrobinbramer.net is my website and today I'm going to uh, do this video so that you can have an answer to your prayers and that, so that you know how much God loves you now watch this video before you post your prayer and then after you watch the video all the way through go ahead and post your prayer uh, I want to uh, take your prayer request and pray for it on video so you know how to stand for the things that you promised that you get your promised answer Oftentimes we see Christians in as much trouble and fear as the world. As a Christian, we are the most powerful influence on the world. And when people pray, they don't know. Uh, the thing about praying is people don't know what to pray or how to pray. So I'm going to take you through it. Um, I'm going to show you that in this video. And in this video and links down below, <laughs> um, click on those links and they'll take you to other people's prayers that I'm going to pray for them and other teachings on prayer uh, and I hope that uh, what you do is you post your prayer down below and then I'll pray for you on video and post it down below link below and you follow it when your prayer is answered come back and tell us about it okay and come back and watch other people's prayer be answered now in step one <clears throat> I'm going to show you the position that God has given you to pray from step two I'm going to share some answers that I've had personally when I prayed for people and then step three I'm going to pray for your request now step four I want you to come back and post your prayer and how it was answered and then I want you to watch other prayers and if you want more teaching on how to walk in God's supernatural power and presence you can go to my website robinbremer.net I also have three Bible studies uh, on my website and step five this is really important to me if you like what you see give me a thumbs up subscribe to me or and share in doing that you're giving others the chance to have their prayers answered also now my goal in in this video is to show you how easy it is to pray um, and let's see I have this outline so that I can have captions on it so I'm following my outline um, to show you how easy it is to pray and uh, the authority that God's given you so um, step one, here's some facts that will change your life, not just in the way you pray, but the way you think and the way you behave. Number one, God gave man all authority and dominion on the earth. God is sovereign, and in his sovereignty, he made rules and laws, and the, one of those laws is he gave earth dom all dominion and authority to man and put all things under their feet. That's Genesis 128, Psalms 8, 7, Hebrews 2, 7 through 8. And in those same scriptures, he told us what to do with the authority and dominion that he put under our feet. He says, rule, have dominion, and subdue. Okay? Now, you might be wondering just how do we do that. And here are the instructions that he gave us. Number one, he said in Matthew 6, 10, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now think about this. Is there sickness, disease, poverty, lack, fear, indecision in heaven? No. Okay? And number two is we are to enforce the eternal purposes which he accomplished in Christ Jesus. And that's Ephesians 3. And we'll go over that a little bit more later on. That's my favorite, favorite scripture. We are to bring God's will on earth like it is in heaven. Number one, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. This is how we do it. 1 Corinthians 3.16, 1 Corinthians 6.16. 6, Number two, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us. Romans 8, 11. Why? To empower us to do his will on earth as it is in heaven. We're not to be pusitors. Number three, he, the Holy Spirit who is in us, is greater than he who is in the world. Very important scripture. 1 John 4, 4. Now, what is it you're wondering are we supposed to enforce? Okay. Ephesians 3, 9 through 13. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite scripture of all of this whole year is this scripture it says and to make all men see what the fellowship of this mystery which was from the beginning of the world which has been hid in God and created all things by Christ Jesus okay here's the part okay to the intent that now not yesterday not now to the intent that right now that we make known to the principalities and the powers in heavenly places might be made known by the church so the church is supposed to let the principalities and powers in heavenly places know that what God's will is according to the eternal purposes which he accomplished, accomplished, he already accomplished it in Christ Jesus. OK, 
okay? And in, in whom we have boldness, access, and confidence by faith in Him. So we are to make known to the principalities and powers that Jesus healed us. He became poor that we could become rich. He took the curse for us. He fulfilled all the law. He became sin that we would be righteous, His righteousness. He put man back into our original position of ruling and reigning on the earth and much more. Okay, so you need to study that out and see what he accomplished on the cross. Now, in another video, in, uh, in my other video clips, I have over 200, I go over what he accomplished on the cross and different things. And also my Bible study, which you can get free on my website. Okay, now just how do we enforce what Jesus paid for us to have? You can do any or all of the following things. These are laws of the kingdom of God. These are laws of God's government in you enforcing His will on earth. Number one, we bind what's wrong and loosen what's right. And Matthew 18, 18. Number two, uh, the prayer of agreement. Everything that we want on earth, we agree. We agree with the word of God and with each other. Not what we see, not the situation, but what God's word says. Number three, you can have what you say. Um, that's Mark 122. You don't say what is, you say what you want, okay? Because you can have what you say, okay? So call in creative miracles, new body parts, call in finances, call whatever it is you need. Call it in and call it done. Now I want you to remember that God said this to me. God told me this a while ago when I was praying for something. He said, I can answer your prayers. I want to answer your prayers. I will answer your prayers. And it's my delight to answer your prayers. So you need to step out in faith and do it. Now here are some prayer answers that I prayed for people when I stepped out in faith, as I stepped out in faith and um, they manifested. I prayed for somebody who had a burned hand and, and was in pain and was healed instantly. An infection uh, that somebody had on their leg that was going into septic poisoning and the doctor told them they needed to go to the emergency room right away. Uh, the next morning it was healed. A dog had a concussion that was healed. Uh, a dog had bloody diarrhea, healed the next morning. Back pain, lots of people I prayed for that had back pain. I grew out their legs and their arms, um, which gets their body back in alignment and takes care of a lot of stuff. Uh, their legs grew out when I prayed for them. Lots of times it happens. Um, money was manifested when I prayed for finances, manifested in wallets and purses and so on. The house that I prayed for for somebody sold the next day. Somebody was promoted the next day. Uh, I've given words of knowledge and wisdom. I, man I manifested God's presence when I prayed for people. Uh, laid hands on people manifested God's joy. Um, those are some of the answered prayers that I can think of off, of off the top of my head. Now, if somebody had cancer, here's basically how I would pray. I command the spirit of cancer to go in Jesus' name. I speak a creative miracle for their body, whatever body parts they need. For example, if they need a new pancreas, I speak a new pancreas, a creative miracle of a new pancreas in their body. I call it in in Jesus' name. I command all their cells to be healthy and normal. I speak life to their body and peace to their mind. And I say, thank you, Father, for healing them in Jesus' name. Now, I didn't ask God to do anything. He already did it. Okay, and I put, and he put it into my mouth and to my hands in, to enforce what he did. So I'm speaking it out, I'm commanding it, decreeing it, I'm speaking it out, and I'm thanking him for it. And notice I didn't say if it be your will. That's like the number one cursive thing that Christians say. He showed us his will. Healing is already done. It's always his will to heal. You've already been healed. You just got to receive it. Um, sometimes you have to find out how he wants you to deliver it. He might have you deliver it by laying on hands, anointing with oil, uh, prayer cloths. Uh, maybe they're supposed to drink so much water, or maybe they're supposed to go do this, or maybe they're supposed to believe they're forgiven. Who knows? You pray in the Spirit and find out how to deliver the package. Their healing, their finances, whatever it is that you're to pray for. Um, you can also pray with somebody who has cancer. You might pray something like this. Cancer, go in Jesus' name. By the stripes of Jesus, they have been healed. Body, be healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. And I didn't plead, I didn't beg, and I didn't ask. I took authority for the job being accomplished by Jesus in Ephesians 3. It was done, and now I enforce it. Okay, now you go down below and post your prayer requests, and I'll videotape me praying for your prayer so that you can claim it as yours. Other people can see how to pray for these things. And please repost it, um, The you know, post it, uh, subscribe, share it, whatever, just so other people can get their faith built up. I see that 
on uh, Facebook and <clears throat> all over the I internet that prayer is like the number one thing that people need. And you, as a Christian, should be doing the praying. I want to teach you to pray with power. And so post your prayer requests. Now there's, now there's one more thing we have to do, and that's the most important part. If you die tonight, do you know where you would go? Well, Romans 3.23 says all of us have sinned. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is life through Christ Jesus. Romans 10.13 says whoever, I'm whoever, you're whoever, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. So let's call upon the name of the Lord and get you saved right now. Let's receive that free gift. So just say, say this prayer with me. Father God, I call in the name of Jesus. I want the free gift of my lifetime of sins forgiven. I want life through Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Simple as that. My name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. Check it out. And remember, God gave you all authority and all dominion on this earth. So it doesn't, if it isn't like heaven on earth, go and enforce it.